and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't expecting anything today, but guess I was wrong. So, I haven't seen anything. All I've seen is Valentine's Summons, the Cacao Society coming soon. I mean, it's not even fucking February yet, and I guess this is the double chance. I'm keen to see what this is, so we're going to find out together. Let's take a look then, shall we? Oh, oh, very interesting. Honestly, I was hoping for a Soifon. <laughs> I really was, because as much as I love that four star Valentine Soifon, she really needed to be a five star or a six star version. Nanao, Yoroichi, Halibel. Very interesting. Three female characters from the Kekao Society, an alternate dimension that appears on Valentine's Day are here. Uh, following three new five-star characters will be added. Am I recording? Yes, I am good. Halibol, Witch Queen of the Kakao Society. Yoroichi, Knight and Defender of the Kakao Castle. Nanao, Mage and Custodian of the Kakao Castle Library. Uh, these characters will be featured in four slightly different Valentine summons. Okay, so I'm only assuming, reading that, that's all we're getting. Only those three characters. So... Um... Uh, I'm not complaining. I think that's I think that's good. Like I said, I would have preferred a fucking siphon. But um oh we actually get to check out the stats? Yeah? This fucking early? Alright. Okay. Um Hollybell comes armed with a moving vortex of strength, second strong attack, once awakened to six stars against the hollow killer ability and unlock frenzy to increase our strong attack hits. So you can also increase our strong attack cooldown to 14, okay. I think K Lab are taking advantage of that way too much now. There seems to be a lot of 14%. I guess, I guess, why am I complaining about that? 14% is better than 12, but it seems like they're just giving it to fucking every character now. Uh, meaning there is virtually no end to her strong attack barrage. Okay. Yoroichi can inflict paralysis with both her third strong attack and her special move. And once again, a six star, she gains hollow killer ability and she can unlock both frenzy and debilitator, increasing her strong attack hits and duration of her paralysis, paralysis by five seconds. Nanao's second strong attack is an attack and a self heal. Okay. Uh, once we're working to six star, she gains the Aranka killer ability. She also unlocks Medic, which turns her self heal into a team heal and bombardment, which increases her special move hits, making her an excellent support character. That sounds like something I would uh, like. <coughs> Lol. From this summons, the test play, test play limit for new characters has been increased from twice, from from twice to 99 times. Ah, and the test character has been changed from 5 star f Well done, Caleb. Well done. You did something fucking right for once. Alright, let's take a look. Hullybell. Technique. What is going on with this screen? I need to clean it. Ah, uh, Hullybell. Okay. Stamina, 1001. Uh, attack, 642. Defense, 363. I'm just realizing Hullybell will be a very good link for Time Skip Sophon. Um... Focus 333, Spiritual Pressure 741, Killer is Hollow. Special Dark Chocolate Dominion, a magic circle that inflicts immense damage to anything in the area of effect. Strong Attack Recharge Time 14, Bruiser 20%, Havoc, Frenzy, Devastation, Sprinter. And you don't need anything, do you? Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, as I said, it's all about the gameplay, but um, Halle Bowers is a really good link for my time skip so far. Uh, speed, okay. Stamina! Uh, 995, attack 649, defense 361. 361, that's correct. <laughs> Focus 340, spiritual pressure 733, killer is hollow. Milk chocolate stash, a mesmerizing flurry of movement and strikes that cause immense damage and inflicts paralysis. Strong attack damage 20, lung reach 20, bruiser 20, frenzy, devastation 40, debilitator 5 seconds. Sprinter, 1, plus 1, yeah, plus 1, lol. Okay, now, now power, fuck's sake. Don't know how I feel about Nanao being power, to be honest. Um, stamina, 1017, attack, 655, defense, 352, focus, 332, spiritual pressure, 720. So this is like the second summon selection in a row where all three characters have been SP focused because, um, when I looked at the 
past Visard characters, every single one of those three characters, Lisa, Hiori, and Mashiro, were at least 700 SP. So, Caleb, get off the fucking crack, okay? I don't want fucking spiritual pressure characters, alright? Show me some attack, for God's sake. Uh, Killer is a wrong car, special mint chocolate maze, a spell from a grimoire that inflicts immense damage to any enemy it hits. Damage taken 16. You know I fucking hate that. Uh, Bruiser 30%. Havoc 20, Berserker 40, Bombardment, Sprinter, Medic. Oh god, I forgot about the other characters. Um, yeah, so I don't have Momo and I don't have Nelia. Okay. And we don't I don't I don't even know if Nanel's fucking ranged. Um, and even if she was, why would I play her when I have fucking Halloween Soifon? So I don't know I don't know about this to be honest. I don't know the characters. The character designs look interesting. As for their stats, not that impressed to be honest. What were the other ones? Uh Okay. Nalial Nanao Rukia. Yachiro Yoroichi Momo. Rukia Halibel Yachiro. Okay. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this summon selection, so... So yeah, um, as you know, I constantly said that I would be saving for Dark Rukia. Of course, that didn't happen. A couple of days ago, I had a fucking mental breakdown, and I just could not fucking care anymore. I really wanted that uh, Retsu slash Yoroichi. Uh, Retsu slash Yichiro, I ended up getting her at the cost of quite a bit of my orbs. I don't know if you, I, if I remember correctly, my last video I had like 4,000 orbs or something. Look at that. Look at that. Seriously. I tried several times for fucking Sejin as well. Nothing but fucking gold lights. That pissed me the fuck off. Um, I also got uh, Holo Kaname, uh, as you can see there, which is a new character. I'll take it. But, um, oh God, how should I say this? It's about time I have this little discussion and say it's getting to that point in the game where... I don't give a fuck anymore. I really don't. Um, as you may or may not know, one of my favorite quotes is, I give zero fucks. And I don't really implement it into this game. I really need to start implementing it into this game. So basically what I'm saying is, I'm starting to get very impatient for Dark Rookie yeah, and I really don't fucking care anymore. So I basically will summon on anything that I find interesting. The double chance... As I said, the character designs look interesting, but as for their stats, it's a big uh for me. I'm going to go for it anyway. I'll go one multi. Um, one mo I'll go one multi, but one multi only, and just save the rest of the orbs for whatever comes into the future. Um, yeah, but as for this game, it's... Uh, I've said it billions of times. It's, it, uh, it's not giving me that spark like it used to. Um... Yeah, which is why you don't really see a lot of videos from me anymore. Um, but um, I guess I should wrap it up. So there's a uh, a preview of the um, the upcoming double chance with which is Valentine's characters. Actually, is it going throughout the whole month? I didn't really take a look at good look at the dates because usually it finishes on the tenth from the double chance, right? Or somewhere somewhere between there, seventh, close. No, it wasn't really close at all, was it? 7 to 10, 10 to 13, 13 to 16. I also find this interesting because usually when they do these types of summon selections, there's always one more with all of them in together at a standard rate and droplets, but it doesn't seem that this is being implemented. Although when I look at this, it ends on the 16th, which means the 16th will be the mid-month summon selection. So... But yeah, I guess I'll wrap up this video. There's a look at the um, the uh, upcoming Double Chance, new Valentine's uh, Day characters. Uh, it's a bit of a okay for me. So um, yeah, I will do one multi on the 31st, but that's it. If I get nothing, so be it. As I said to you before, I need to implement the zero fucks in this game. And if I get nothing, so be it. That's how, we, that's how I have to take it from now on. So, um, so yeah. Alright, anyway, have fun with the game, best of luck on your summons, if you're going to continuously summon for the manga characters that are up at the moment, and um, I'll see you on 
the 31st, which is ages away. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, five days away. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you then. I, I do realize there's a new event. I, as you know, I don't I can't be fucked doing the events anymore. It's I just want to get it done and out of the way. So, yeah. Until next time, I'll have a uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video very soon because there's a character that I want to summon for in that. So that'll follow sometime after this video. So I guess I'll see you in that video if you're interested. Until then, take care.